Hey, fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're gonna to go over the ASVAB mechanical comprehension test. This is just a practice test to give you an idea what the mechanical comprehension portion of the ASVAB, the military placement exam, test looks like. What I'd highly recommend you do is you have a notebook out and pencil, you watch a portion of the video, you pause it after you see the problem, you do the problem, and then unpause it and then watch how I do it, taking notes. That act of actually taking notes in a notebook really helps sync that information into your brain. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, problem number one. The force that resists the relative motion of two surfaces in contact is known as normal reaction, drag, friction, gravity. What we're talking about is the resistance of things moving. So the correct answer after you do it on your own is C, friction. Number two, a force that pushes materials together is known as effort, compression, resistance, compound. Um, pause the video, do the problem, and then watch how I do it. Correct answer is B, compression. That means pushing two things together like that, and that's what that force being pushed together is called compression. Three, a fighter plane has a mass of 25,000 kilograms. What is the thrust of the plane? If it accelerates at 2.5 meters per second squared, 10,000 newtons, 31,250 newtons, 62,000, 125,000 newtons. Pause the video, figure it out, unpause, watch how I do it. So we have, well the thing you need to know is that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So I have a mass and an acceleration, so my force is going to be equal to that 25,000 kilograms times my acceleration at 2.5. I can multiply that through and come up with an answer, or I can look at my answers and see what makes the most sense. 10,000 is gonna be way too low, 31,000 way too low. Two times 25,000 is 50,000. And then the half, half of 25 is 12 and a half. And then 50 and the 12 and a half give me 62,500. 100 newtons, correct answer, answer C right there. Number four, a stable situation in which net force is equal to zero, resultant, equilibrium, torque, or inertia. Again, a vocabulary question, really. A stable situation, that means things are equal on both sides of the equation. So the correct answer is equilibrium. If you kind of know the roots of the word, you could figure it out, even if you're not quite sure what the correct answer is. So four is B, equilibrium. Number five, tension is measured in watts, newtons, amps, or kilowatt hours. Tension is a force. It has to do with Newton um, physics. So the correct answer is newtons. Those are the units you're gonna measure tension in. Watts, amps, and kilowatt hours are all electrical, not related to forces. Number six, the rate at which velocity changes is acceleration, velocity, force, or momentum. The rate of change of speed is called acceleration. Um, answer A is the correct answer. Velocity is the same as the word, that doesn't make sense. Force isn't really about traveling, and momentum um, doesn't really make sense in this case either. So again, another vocabulary word. I mean, the best thing to do if you go and take a physics course or exploratory science type of course, um, but if you kind of learn the tips and tricks and learn a lot of these words and the roots of these words, um, hopefully you could do better than if you hadn't studied at all. Number seven, a change in the position of a particle in a fixed direction um, is known as distance, length, displacement, and speed. This is kind of a vector terminology. A vector has both magnitude and direction. Its amount of travel is called its displacement. So correct answer, answer C, displacement. Number eight, which one of the following is not a vector quantity? So vectors, we just talked about those a second ago, both magnitude and direction. So we're looking for something that is not a vector quantity. Force is measured as a vector. Torque is the same as force. It's just a turning force. Work, that's not really related to it. And acceleration is also a vector measured with vectors. So correct answer is C, work is not a vector quantity. Number nine, blank energy is the potential energy stored in the nucleus of an atom. Again, a vocabulary question. 
But if you didn't know this one, you could look at these four answers, nuclear, solar, atomic, internal energy, and see that the correct answer is A, nuclear. Nuclear energy is a potential energy stored in the nucleus. Number 10, about halfway there, or we are halfway there when we're done with this. Energy is moving electrons through the conductor is, very similar to the last problem, vocabulary question, potential energy, electrical energy, kinetic, or internal. Well, we're talking about electrons, so it has to be electrical energy. Correct answer for number 10 is V. For 11, what is the unit of energy? Joule, watt, newton, amp. Um, it's going to be answer A, a joule measures energy. Number 12, what measures how much force is applied to an object in order to rotate it? So a rotational force is called A, torque. Um, so torque is how much force it takes to move a lever around a pivot point. Before we do number 13 here, uh, let me just say, if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. If you like this video and it's being helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and share the link um, with anybody else you know who might be studying for an ASVAB or any standardized test. Again, this is a mechanical comprehension. Best thing to do would be take a science class and really hone these skills. They are really important skills, um, but this video hopefully will give you a better idea of what the problems look like. So let's take a look at 13. Which is the attractive force between objects in space? Object in space is going to be answer D, gravity. Number 14, in a lever, the distance from the force to the fulcrum is the A, effort arm, B, load arm, fulcrum, D, pivot. Well, pivot's the thing that's turning around. Fulcrum is also on a lever. That doesn't really make any sense. So I've got to pick between A and B. Uh, it is actually the effort arm. The effort arm is the, the, where you're putting the effort in to rotate something around. Again, an angular velocity problem. Number 15, pressure is equal to the force acting over. Well, if you think about pressure like air pressure in your air compressor, um, it's going to be in pounds per square inch. So it's going to be amount of force over a unit area. So the correct answer is going to be D, unit area, like pounds per square inch. Number 16, the moisture that forms on the inside of a window on a cloudy, on a cold day is called condensation, distillation, evaporation, tarnation. I don't even know what tarnation is. Um, so again, a vocab question, you just need to know the word condensation is when the moisture starts to drip onto the window. So correct answer, answer A. Number 17, in which of these temperature scales is absolute zero shown at zero? Fahrenheit, Celsius, Kelvin, none of the above. Well, Fahrenheit is your day-to-day -day temperature reading in the U.S., how warm it is outside. Celsius is the exact equivalent of Fahrenheit, except for it's a metric equivalent for the rest of the world. And then Kelvin is a scientific measurement for uh, temperature. So the correct answer is answer C, Kelvin. Number 18, a force is applied at one end of a hydraulic jack. The area at the other end of the jack is five times the area where James is applying the force. How much larger is the exerted force than what he's applying? So the area is five times larger, meaning that piston will travel one-fifth the distance. Um, so it's traveling a fifth the distance, so it'll be five times more powerful. So mechanical advantage, the way I look at a lot of mechanical advantage problems, is figure out how much force you're putting into it, how much travel you're going to make, and then how much the receiver is going to make. So if it travels one-fifth, then you're putting that same force into a fifth of the amount of travel, or five times as much force. Correct answer is answer D, five times as large. Number 19, the property of attraction of metals, electricity, magnetism, inertia, metallic property. Correct answer is going to be B. Magnetism is what pulls metals together, like in a magnet. Number 20, the measure of the quantity of matter in an object is its mass, force, weight, density. Uh, again, I hopefully you've been pausing the videos and doing these problems before I do them. Correct answer is A. Mass, another vocab problem, really understanding vocabulary. Mass is the overall quantity of matter in an object. Okay, thank you for watching. This is Colfax Math. Um, if you want more information, there's an ASVAB um, 
app you could get on your phone, you go to this webpage right here to get access to that ASVAB app.